So you may have seen my previous video on the SwitchBot, and if you haven't, there's a link in the description that leads to it. I talk about how amazing the SwitchBot is in making your life more convenient through home automation. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why I think the SwitchBot is an amazing alternative to normal smart bulbs, smart switches, or smart plugs. And at the very least, it's going to be complementary to those items in your home automation. The first thing I want to mention about the SwitchBot is that when you install it, it's not permanently modifying some structure of the actual house or home that you're living in. And this is very helpful if you're a tenant or you're renting the, an apartment or a home and you don't want to modify or you just can't modify smart switches. Sometimes smart switches require an electrician to do some work and it can be very complicated, it can be more costly, and of course you may not be able to do it. So what's really nice about SwitchBot is that it is non-invasive. You simply stick it on with a sticker and it's very easy to remove once you move out. So if you can't install smart switches, SwitchBot is a fantastic alternative. Number two, the SwitchBot comes very handy when you have fixtures that don't take standard E26 or other types of smart bulbs that usually fit into these type of fixtures. Here you can see I'm using a track light and it's using proprietary light bulbs, not the standard E26 light bulbs that usually come for most smart bulbs. So evidently it's going to be very difficult for me to swap these for smart bulbs. I would have to change the fixture, which I can't do because I'm a tenant of this apartment. It would require a lot of work and investment in buying a new fixture for this specific light. I could also change the switch. However, that in itself is also very complicated because I'm not an electrician. It would require a lot of effort and of course I would need approval from the landlord. So instead of having to actually change everything, I can simply leverage the switch bot and all I have to say is Alexa turn off the kitchen light and you can see that it obviously turned it off so very seamless integration with my smart devices number three usually smart bulbs are not very bright at all the max you'll get is maybe 1100 lumens and they are very costly so what happens if you want to install a very bright light in a certain place, let's say in your garage, for example, or something like that, and you want to make it smart enabled? SwitchBot makes it very easy because you can use any kind of dumb light bulb you want. You're not restricted to smart bulbs where the luminosity is not very bright. Turn off the lights. Number four. If you're gonna use a smart bulb and you wanna put it into an enclosed fixture, such as a light that has a cover on it, there's not gonna be much airflow and it's gonna get really hot. And the issue with smart bulbs that I really dislike is that they can get very hot because they have their own Wi-Fi antenna in there and there's more moving parts basically. So it gets extremely hot and it's, it becomes a fire hazard if you're trying to embed this into a fixed enclosure where there's no air circulation. For example, LifeX requires that their light bulbs be used in an open air. So you need to, you, you kind of restrict it to different types of fixtures. Maybe you want a nice fixture that makes it more seamless to your, to your ceiling. So you want to cover it up. So you can use a dumb bulb that doesn't use that much energy, and then you can smart enable it using SwitchBot. Number five, SwitchBot is very handy if you want to automate lights that are outdoors, for example. These lights are typically harder Turn to the automate the because they're outdoor, so you need special types of light. With this, I can ask the Google Assistant turn to turn on outdoor, outdoor lights when I'm arriving from, you know, my, in my car. I just want to make, switch on the lights automated. This is something that's very handy to have when you, you can actually enable outdoor lights. Number six, SwitchBot can be treated as a light in your favorite home assistant, such as in the Google Assistant. If you say turn off the light, it will turn it off and treat it as a light. Hey Google, turn off the lights. Hey Google, turn on the outdoor lights. All right, turning on outdoor. Another thing we can do is not only can we schedule it, we can simply say, turn off the dehumidifier. As you can tell, there's no more dehumidification happening. It's very quiet in here, and it just turned it off using the Google Assistant. Number seven, SwitchBot can be used to control loud machinery, such as AC units, dehumidifiers, humidifiers, and things like that. This is a sub pump, and this is a dehumidifier. We're in a partial basement right now, and there's obviously a lot of humidity in here because just, we're just lower to the ground, so it's just gonna be naturally more moist. And this is a lot of exposed wood. We wanna keep it dry. But this dehumidifier is really loud. And part of the issue is it is directly uh, below our bedroom. So at night, you're gonna be hearing the dehumidifier working, obviously extracting out water into this sub pump, which will suck it out, obviously. 
The main issue is noise. You can use the scheduling feature to control these devices on a schedule so that when you're sleeping, for example, you can turn off the machinery that isn't so it doesn't distract you throughout the night, and then when you're away, you can have it automatically turn on. This is all controlled through the SwitchBot software. Number eight. Some devices require a manual touch to turn it on and off. So for example, let's say this humidifier can be enabled through a timer, but it can only be turned off. So you set a timer and then a turn off, but you'll never have a way to turn it on without physically touching the button that, you know, this is the manual interface that we all talk about in terms of machinery. Thankfully, the SwitchBot has a hand and it's a very handy hand that will physically touch a button. And this can be used in many places where you're not able to use, let's say a power plug, for example, that is a smart power plug, which would turn it on. All these types of switch situations where a manual touch is required. This is where the SwitchBot comes extremely helpful. Number nine, in cases that you don't need to manually touch it, perhaps you can use a smart plug. The issue with smart plugs is they can't handle a high wattage. For example, let's say you want to hook it up to your AC unit that draws in a lot of power. Some of these smart plugs are not rated for these types of power draws from the power outlet. It's kind of a not safe thing. It seems more hazardous. You much rather use the native interface, the native plug that comes with the AC unit and just use SwitchBot to turn it on and off. And finally, number 10, I have to admit that the Bluetooth range is extremely impressive with the SwitchBot. So one thing I want to note is that we're in a partial basement right now, and it's pretty far from the actual hub, which sends the Bluetooth signal to the SwitchBot devices. So right behind me, as you can see, uh, the dehumidifier is attached to the SwitchBot, and it's actually quite a far distance away. It has to travel through several rooms. It's obviously on the main floor. So we're pretty far away, and I'm really impressed with how reliable the Bluetooth range is between all these devices and the hub. And by the way, you definitely want to invest in the hub. The hub allows you to control everything remotely through the cloud. And for number 11, this is a bonus one, and I'm talking about the hydrometer. And this allows you to monitor the temperature and humidity over time in a remote place and sync it wirelessly to the hub where you can view it on your phone through any anywhere in the world. So this all can be done remotely. And what's really amazing that this is gonna be very helpful in homes where may, maybe you have mold issues or temperature issues in specific areas. So you can move it around and you can monitor the situation. So for example, let's say you're in the basement and you wanna monitor the humidity and see where it becomes more humid, what time of the day, what time of the season. You can monitor that all through the app and this will help you target things like mold and maybe places that are too cold. So let's open this. Okay, so we're in the crawl space area and here it's gonna be naturally very humid. So we wanna make sure we monitor this area because we're below ground here. There can be some water leakage. So we wanna make sure that the humidity is always monitored. And this is a great device right here that will actually monitor it. So we're just gonna place it just right about here. The fantastic app that shows historical trends is also very helpful in saving energy. By having access to this information, you can actually see how your house is performing and maybe you can save energy through that. And like I mentioned before, control moisture in problem areas so that you don't have mold in your place. And of course, as I mentioned before, you can use SwitchBot in conjunction with a dehumidifier. So you can turn it on, turn it off based on the values of the actual hydrometer in terms of what it's reading. So this is all together, the hydrometer, the switch hub and the switch bot all working together to make a home automation that really helps you kind of diagnose issues of your house and really just automate everything. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the switch bot or any of the other add-ons and accessories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.